to see in this chapter, the big picture, is that when the government steps into a perfectly competitive market, and the market shrinks, as we saw it would do earlier, the people who don't get to participate in the market anymore can't get the happiness that they were getting before. So think about a particular market. Think about the market for coffee. If the government steps in and sets a price for coffee or taxes coffee, and you decide as a result not to buy coffee, then your happiness from coffee has decreased. We're going to use the geometric and algebraic methods of measuring the happiness that you lose that we developed in Chapter 7. What we're going to see is that you can measure the change in happiness using triangles as before for surpluses. And that whenever we have the situation where the government steps in and the quantity in the market is reduced so that the benefits to the consumers and the cost to producers are not equal anymore, we're going to have a loss in consumer and producer surplus. It's going to be a triangle, just like they were in Chapter 7. The second part of the chapter brings in this idea of elasticity to show how big that loss to consumers and producers might be. The big picture there is that the easier it is to move away from one market into another market. That is, the higher the elasticity of demand or supply is. The bigger the deadweight loss is from government